Oh well, yeah, good work, boys. All right, here it is, number eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. Oh man, crazy, crazy to think about. And there's no drop. Yo, I swear, this update was a hundred percent meant for me because Hard Mode Theater Blood has just come out at the time of recording this video and I am working on the Sang staff grind to finally wrap up this series. I have been grinding this item for months, literally months. Because look at my collection log, we are over a thousand one hundred plus theater bloods, which is about close to four times the rate over. And uh, believe it or not, hard mode theater blood it's on average supposed to be actually even better chance to get the same staff time wise. So if I can get good at this content, then this is the content to be at for the same grant. Okay, so what's cool about the hard mode theater of blood? So hard mode theater of blood uh, not only has better purple rates, they also have special drops like the uh, Sarah kits to customize your rapier, your sang staff and the scythe and, and whatnot. You also get the pet transmog too. If you have the Theater of Blood pet with the transmog, you can uh, turn them into any of the Theater of Blood pets, but you must complete the challenge mode under certain times. For example, four man is 27 minutes. So I'll be doing a few test runs on Iron Bar first, just cause he has better gear, just to test and see if I need something like Tebow to make this somewhat viable. I don't think so, but worth the test. And regarding my main account, I'll definitely be doing this grind long term on Mr. Ryan Bar because getting all the cosmetics and the metamorphic dust is definitely something I want to do in the future. But right now, Huang Man definitely comes first. Wireless technology is the future. That includes earbuds too. Let me introduce you to Raycon earbuds. These high quality earbuds provide great sound at only half the price of premium competitors. Raycon earbuds last 6 hours before needing a recharge, easy Bluetooth pairing, and a very comfortable fit. They also come in a variety of colors, styles, and fit options. Celebrities like Mike Tyson love Raycon earbuds. Personally, I use these for calls with friends and family as it is super convenient for whenever I'm eating downstairs for example or just outside. Summer is here, so it is perfect for when I go running while listening to music. There's a free 45 days return policy as well. Get yourself some nice Raycon earbuds for the summer by clicking on the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash ricecup for 15% off, which greatly supports the channel as well. Thanks for listening. Back to the progress. Oof, god damn. All right, not too bad, I guess. Really? Oh, it's my purple. Pl oh god, if it's a scythe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I mean, if it's a saying, I'm gonna be so pissed. This better not be a saying, dude. This better not be a saying, bro. Please, no saying, no saying, please. Dude. Oh, okay. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah, yeah. They made defender uh, proportionally less less common than than the normal runs. So that's kind of ironic that I ended up getting a defender. <laughs> Yo, back to back purple? No way! Oh, another one. Um, no, we were not six minutes off time. We were four minutes off time because they increased the time to 27 now, so. Now that I've tested the waters on Iron Bar, I should be able to do this on Hua Man. Uh, no problem. Just because I didn't use the table that much and that's really the only difference. So now I can try and get the Sang Staff through challenge mode raids. This is going to be quite the opportunity and also just uh, a break from just doing so many normal tops. Suck my weenie, Verzik. I came in here with four brews. I survived, bro. <laughs> four brews. Uh. Yo, we almost made the time, by the way. We were only one minute off. Here's another charge. Oh, my blood runes. <laughs> Bitch. Die! Thank you very much. I have two, but that's fine. I only lost four bruises already. Right? We almost made it, dude. We almost made it to the time. Oh, sick! We yo, we managed to beat the time even though I freaking died. Nice, dude. No, nah, okay, I'll take it. Uh, we've already made it, boys. Time to retire. All right, we're starting to make the time this time. Uh, we've had a 
about a 50% success rate here. Skipped a lot of deaths, obviously, so I can show you guys the loots. But yeah, we're making the time, so hopefully we see some special uniques along the way. Oh, we made it. We made the time. Nice. Okay, yeah. I think we got our formants down pretty well. Yeah, I think we got our formants down pretty well, though. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, I just need a saying more than anything, but yeah. <laughs> anything? Yes! Redemption! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, my hands are so sweaty, dude. Oh, nice. Yo, purple. Let's go, man. Let's go. Alright, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, it's just impossible, bro. That's the third defender in a row. By the way, they nerfed the rate of the defender in challenge mode raids. And we have seen three. Why? Why is it only... Oh my goodness, dude. So, so dumb. Yeah, 1, 5, 9, 12, uh, 14, 26 drops. Not a single one. Not a single one is a is a Sang Stab, bro. You trolling. Yep. Oh, man, that was fast. Let's go. See, that's what we need. Just wet runs, bro, and we're good. Just gotta wet run that, that bastard. Yep. Not mine. Damn, don't be a Sang, please. Don't be a Sang. Oh, what? This game is so rigged. Lower drop rate, my ass. Oh, what? No way. But I don't have anything to use it on, do I? The scythe? Yo, what the heck? I would have preferred to get an iron bar, but, you know, doesn't matter. We can always do it again on that account. Yo, I just got a holy ornament kit. Holy crap. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty sick. Yo, thank. Yeah, no saying to use it on, but it's who cares. Yo, let's use it. Oh, I get like myself a holy grass cutter. Cool. Nice. This thing can cut grass. <laughs> Yo, you were right. We were going to see something today. Holy crap, dude. If you are enjoying this type of content, definitely consider subscribing and ringing the bell because I will definitely be consistently uploading a lot more awesome PVM related videos. Oh, yeah, you're right. That, that like, blue light thing. That's cool, man. It's like a cyan wave. Very nice. There we go. Consi oh, sub-25 with the blade as well. Jeez. All right, let me sacrifice a justiciar helmet because we are dying so... Wait, what? Hey, deposit. Confirm, yes. Yes, I'm dying so much that I need it. So since this is new content, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably trying to figure out what is the difference between like the challenge mode and the normal mode. So I already talked about the reward differences. So let's quickly just kind of cover the mechanical differences. So I think overall there's like 26 changed mechanics. So some will be completely new mechanics and some will just be modified versions of existing mechanics so we're gonna start with maiden maiden has quite a bit of a power up here so for the attack speed that she normally does which is rather slow if enough crabs goes through her whether it's like low HP or not she will start attacking really really fast she also has a damage stack counter where if she attacks like the same person multiple times in a row her damage will start getting uh, higher and higher so you have to kind of like take turns tanking also the most annoying is probably the blood spawns the blood spawns trails of blood will stay permanently throughout the entire fight usually it goes away after a while but not in challenge mode making it extremely annoying and now you have a uh, bloat bloat it's pretty much the same fight except dodging the like the foots and hands that fall from the ceiling is now like multiple times more annoying it falls at a crazier rate there's more of them in general and not to mention even when the boss is down like sleeping it will still continue to fall so making it extremely uh, annoying to have to constantly pay attention duck while attacking and dodging while it's running and now we have nilo boss so the nilo boss room definitely got beefed up a bit as well there's now three 
many like Nala bosses that spawn in between the waves. And also, you can't uh, openly barrage like you used to because they'll reflect damage back to you if you use the wrong style against them. And also, the Nalo King final boss is exceptionally dangerous because now the range and magic attacks aren't just a simple uh, single player attack. Now they mob. So the magic attack is really deadly. If you guys are not close to each other and one person's far away, if that person is attacked, and especially if he doesn't have prayer on, the damage will rebound back to other players and it can hit extremely high, over 100 plus HP sometimes, depending on the distance. And the Ranger version is the opposite. If you guys are too close to each other, then it will be kind of like the same uh, damage. And the melee guy is the same, luckily. Our Dark Beast got pretty wild too, so you now have doubled the balls, energy balls that come out of him during each of the phases, which means that you guys will definitely take more damage, or you guys have to take it more often. And the maze now is split up between multiple people, so if there's four people in the raid, three people are going to go inside the maze, and only one of each of you guys will see a third of the maze. So you guys have to take turns showing each other where to go. Now, Sarpus' room didn't change too much, other than the fact that there's less space to move around. If you guys have a team of sights, it shouldn't really be a problem. And the last phase is actually pretty AFK, as long as you guys uh, take different quadrants and attack at different attack times. And now, let's talk about Verzig. So, Verzig definitely has the most adjustments and new mechanics. So, the first phase is eh, not too hard. Although, you do have to move around a lot more because you cannot stay on the same pillars back to back anymore. You guys have to alternate between pillars because there will be falling debris that will shortly be falling after she hits the pillar. And you don't want to be there because you'll get stunned and then, yeah, GG, you take a lot of damage. So you just alternate. And then on second phase, oh god, that one is so obnoxious because the ranged projectiles that fall on the ground will now... Leave a poisonous puddle that will continuously hit you for 10 damage if you stay there. So you have to alternate different spots. So you need at least, uh, I guess, four different squares to go back to. So the crabs in challenge mode has become quite uh, dangerous and different in terms of how you treat them. Normally, you just kind of juke them. But now their explosion radius has increased. So juking them is extra harder. So the best way to deal with them is actually just to kill them. They actually are one-shotable if you hit them with the right style. However, they didn't make it that easy because it changes color, so you have to make sure you get to the right color. Uh, there's currently what seems to be a glitch where you can trident the green and also the blue phase, which will basically change from green to blue consecutively. So yeah, trident seems to be really good in uh, <laughs> the fights, as you can kill them from far away so you can avoid the explosion damage. And uh, now the final phase, oh, first it got real tricky here on phase three because when the yellow portal starts, you have now three of them that you have to simultaneously uh, run to, and that's for every single person. And yeah, it'll do the same amount of damage if you mess up any of them from 40, 80. Also, green balls now will one-shot you if nobody passed the green ball. So if you pass the green ball once, it's 75% damage. If you pass it three times, it's 50%. So you have to at least pass it one time. Or else the person that gets the green ball will die. And also, Verzig at 5% light points will regen all the way back up to around like 30% of her health. So that means you get like a 50% HP tornado phase fight minimum. And it gets really hectic. So a lot of people will end up healing her a lot more, which is probably going to make it much more than 50%. So yeah, you have to be really good at your tornado run game, your tanking game, because she switches tanks every phase, so everybody needs to know how to path and tank and all that stuff. And yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff to uh, have to get used to, man. Even on like the third day, we were still having a lot of issues getting consistent clears. Overall, challenge mode of is definitely a lot harder than its original counterpart, and a lot of the experienced players will definitely find this quite challenging but of course with practice and all that stuff and good teamwork you'll eventually be able to make this consistent i'm sure but compared to like challenge mode chambers this is a much better challenge mode for sure because yeah they actually changed the mechanics a lot and added new ones yeah that's pretty lit the dark the uh, solar side pet right there 
Where? Oh, this? Oh, damn, dude. Look at that giant ass owl, bro. What if it just flies away from the pole and then you just get a stick? Our team can save a lot of time if we can successfully kill Maiden without killing the uh, third spawn of crabs because that will save us a lot of time. Maybe like 20 to 30 seconds. I got it. I killed it. I killed it. You're good. 70 XP drop is a kill, by the way. Yeah, Trident is so easy to kill the crabs with. And it's so easy to time it, too. Oh, oh nice. I dodged that shit. <laughs> Oh, you're too slow. Oh, 88. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, we all died. Triple kill. Yo, you you didn't come, you didn't come to us, bro. I killed it, bitch. Ah. I got this, bitch. Oh, no. I killed it. I killed it, actually. Oh, I killed both! What?! I killed it when it was green! Please, oh my god. Oh my god, stop! Let me just actually- DUDE! It keeps going to my- Another one?! Yeah, you don't have to go that far, Toast. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, Team Killer! What? Dude, Toast, why'd you go so far? Oh, beautiful. Oh, that thing popped and hit me at 21. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, I totally forgot about that exploding mechanic. This is actually nuts. Because, man, we already have to recharge. Oh, Jesus. That's like twice as fast as before. It's definite. Oh, sh 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 Oh, my God. 60. Oh, 110. Ooh, wow. Nice. Good, good shit, bro. Oh, yo, yo. What? Oh, come on. Zora grind. We go again. Hopefully, I get lucky and get a magic fang early again. That would be nice. That would be great. Okay, they're both melee, so that's good. This method works really well because you do save some damage from not having to tank the snake leech. You can kill them before the next Zora spawns. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Give me that. Give me that scale, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, damn, Onyx. Hey, collection log. Little uh, display. Sick. Anything but the same. Okay, get yourself a scythe, bro. Honestly. No. Yeah, just a uh, contact jaggers for me and oh, sixty fifty nine, Halley. Oh my God, that was awesome. Nice, 20% nice in uh, in the duo. Ah, uh, there we go, boys. Oh, damn, we did it. We did the full thing. Nice. All right, I'm going to drop 100 scales because this guy don't have any scales. And apparently, yeah, with my blowpipe storage, I can uh, drop some scales. <laughs> I've never done that before. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's an interesting strat, I guess. <clears throat> Uh, oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. Yes. Every purple now is getting a little bit trickier, you know? Now that my duels have gone pretty decent, I don't really need to bring the barrage spells anymore, so I can just switch to Lunars for Vengeance, which is a bit faster runs. Yay, Venge other. Pretty sick. Haha. <laughs> Bro, yo, oh, we got a, that was a clean ass kill, bro. That was fast. One second, one second. Oh, our first sub 30. Very nice, man. Very nice. Our first sub 30 duel. That was definitely our best run of all time so far. Hell yeah. Kick. All right, well, if it's a, if it's a scythe or anything, that's a saying, that'd be great. Oh, we're good. We're good, bro. We're good. 
Just a defender, bro. Oh, I got a purple. Oh, let's go. Purple in my name. Actual back to back. Actual back to back, dude. All right, here we go, boys. Come on. No, dude. Ah, oh, I can't get this stuff, man. I can't get this shit. It's so hard. Oh, oh, wait, no, it's it's not free for all. Illusion's not free for all, bro. <laughs> what? I know. <gasps> Alright, so I need to do way more bird house runs than I've ever anticipated because challenge my raids requires quite a lot of extra brews. Yeah, uh, with normal tops, I could pretty much break even. But with these hard mode ones, not even close. So I definitely need to just keep doing more per house runs. <laughs> oh, damn. Fucking 97 runecrafting. What the fuck? Jesus.